Hi guys, so welcome back to our uh, you know clipping discussion, uh, diode clipping circuits basically, and here is one of the applications that you have in your home for such for such circuit for such circuit. Okay, so remember that we we, we last time we see that whenever the input is uh, less than V input minimum or V input uh, 2.1 or VB plus VB VB on. Uh, V output is equal to V input for, the, for, the, for, for our circuit, the clipping circuit. And whenever V input exceeds V input minimum, it become greater than or equal to 2.1, V output will be 2.1 constant, okay? So now let's assume that you have a circuit adapter, for example, like the one that you use to charge your phone, okay? And you need to, uh, you know, to charge your phone using a constant 2.1 volt or around 2 volt, 2 volt let's say. Okay, uh, let's say that the adapter, which is, you know, the charger uh, is not a stable. I mean, it may increase than 2.1, it may, you know, uh, go maybe for, for, for have some glitches for, for 4 volt or 5 volt, something high that may destroy your phone. So you may to be sure, you, you want to be sure all the time that the voltage here between these two points, which is the battery terminals of the cell phone to be two volt or 2.1 volt, okay? Then you will have a, our circuit, the circuit that we just did right now. That's why I put in verb is the, the battery VB here equal to 1.4. So 1.4 plus 0.7 will give you around two volt, okay? And now if the uh, adapter here, if the adapter was not stable and you know, have some glitches, you know, five, six, 10 volt, 100 volt, you are sure, you are 100% sure that the voltage between the cell, uh, cell phone uh, terminal batteries are just fixed at 2.1. And you can even make, uh, you know, uh, have a smarter solution. Remember, this is uh, VB is 1.4, right? And remember VD on for the uh, diode is 0.7 volt. Okay, and one, what is 1.4? So it is just 0.7 plus 0.7. So you can replace the battery by two diodes, silicon diodes you know, uh, with uh, again 0.7 uh, VD, because they basically here, this way, again, when the input here is greater than or equal to 2.1, this guy will be on, this guy will be on, this guy will be on, and all of them had 0.7 at the same time. So the total voltage here is 2.1 volt, just like the first one. So this basically equal, you know, equivalent. Also the second one is cheaper because basically diodes are nothing, you know, it's very cheap compared to batteries. And of course take less area and stuff. Okay guys, so this is basically something that you might need in your home. Maybe you, you already have in your home. Okay, in your adapter charger. So this is basically the practical application for clipping. And you, you, we have, you know, tremendous application just like this, just like this. Okay, here is, it's a cell phone. It might be something else. Okay, so I have just one, uh, that's, that's all for, you know, for that circuit. But I have just one, uh, you know, a remark, something that will make you more confident about solving such circuit because Basically, analysis, you know, is 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 extremely important. You must be, uh, you know, uh, fluent in analyzing diode circuits. Okay, so uh, I have here, you know, a very quick tip for you. Uh, let's assume that the input is equal to uh, 0.5 volt, and again here is this VB is 1.4 volt. Okay. And let's assume you just see this circuit and you don't know the input minimum, all such analysis that we did in the previous video, you didn't do or, you know, you, don't, you are not aware of, okay? 
Now, can we do that? Can we solve it, you know, in a, in a simpler way? And the answer is yes, okay? Remember, the basic questions that we should ask ourselves before solving any diode equation or any diode circuit, especially simple circuit like this, if the diode is forward or reverse, can we get that out of the circuit? Uh, and here we may have some confusion because you may say, okay, VD is forward, how? Uh, the B is close to the N, I'm sorry, to the positive terminal, and the N is close to the negative terminal. And the answer here is, is no, not, because that's not true, or not generally true. Because remember, you have another battery here. Okay, so let's see now which is forward. So now the diode is forward to one of the battery, and maybe reverse to the other battery. Let's, let's check how. So the B of, uh, of the diode is close to the N is the positive terminal of the of B input, and the N is close to the negative terminal of Z. That's a good. Or let's say that if the if this uh, battery is pushing the current, it will push the current uh, in that way here from B to N, and that's basically forward. How about VB? So you have, remember you have another battery here, although we we just make it its location different. Okay, so. But this battery now, okay, uh, this diode is reverse to this to this battery, VB. How? So the N is close to the positive terminal, and the B is close to the negative terminal. So the diode is forward in regard to the input, but the diode is is, is, is reverse in regard to VB. And for VB again, if you are gonna say it was the current, you can say that if the battery will push a current out of its uh, positive terminal, this current will go from N to B and that doesn't, that doesn't, you know, that can't be. So the connection of VD to VB is reverse. Now, <laughs> You have two batteries, you have two situ situations. Uh, the diode is forward with one of them, reverse with another. So how we can, you know, how we can judge now. So basically in such kind of situations, the one with the higher value will beat the other one, okay? So basically when the input is, is half and, you know, VB is, uh, is 1.4, so VB is greater. So VB here, greater than VN. This is 1.4, which is greater than. So in general, we can consider D is reverse. And I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna prove that for you now. Remember, if you have two uh, resistors right, right, like this, R1 and R2, you can you know, combine them in one resistor equal to R1 plus R2. And, and also, if you have two batteries like this, V1, V2, you can have them in one battery like this, V1 plus V2. Call it E, for example, E equal to V1 plus V2. How about if the two batteries are an opposite to each other? That's fine. If you have two batteries like this, which are the opposite to each other, so the resultant or the total battery, you can have it in the same direction of V1. And in that case, it will be V1 minus V2 or in the direction of V2. And in that case, it will be V2 minus V1. So you have two options. You can do it like this or like this. Okay. So our circuit here can be, can be redrawn in such a way. So basically, this circuit here have two batteries and they are all in series, okay? So uh, can we move VB, you know, to that branch here? And the answer is yes, but move it please uh, and keep the terminals the same, I mean. So let's, I'm, I'm gonna do it now. So this is our diode and I'm gonna now move this battery backward to here. I'm gonna do it in two steps. <laughs> So something like this, that's me, that's what I meant by, ba by backward, just like this, okay?
Okay. This is V input. This is VB. Z. So dial the again, and now move it. So you will have it like this. Look now, this is the input, this is VB, okay? We just move the VB, you know, to the same, yeah, just, you know, to make, to have something like this. And don't worry about the ground, you know. Now, we have two series batteries and we can have that situation. That's, so I prefer, I prefer myself to do uh, the ones that will give you a positive value. So here VB is 1.4. This guy is going to five. So basically the one which is VB is going down. So basically this one can be redrawn for such one battery like this with VB minus VN equal to 1.4 minus 0.5 equal to 0.9. And now look at the diode here. With the total, or the you know, uh, after simplifying the circuit, we can say to one battery instead of two. Is this a forward or reverse? This is now the normal situation that we used to do. Okay, one battery was positive value. Okay, uh, it can push the current in that way, so the current will be moving from N to B, which can't happen. So this guy is reverse biased. And you can now remove any confusion you have. Any confusion. And we can say now for sure that this guy is off. And since since it's off, the current is zero, then you know the voltage across the diode will be just equal to the voltage of the two batteries, you know, uh, as a resultant, the similar of the two the simplification of them, which is 0.9 or minus 0.9. So the voltage will be in that way. You know, the current is moving in that way or that way because it's zero, just zero. So uh, VR is equal to zero. So basically here you have by KVL, uh, this voltage, which is 0.9 plus VD equal to zero. So VD equal to minus 0.9. This is basically what we get when VM was 0 0.5. The, the voltage across the, the diode was minus 0.9. So, so again, this is a circuit, you know, but with a new with a new element is that we just started this year, which is the light. So it, everything will be KVL, KCL, but with special treatment for our light. Okay, it is just was on a side, you know, but it's very it's really it's extremely important. Okay, we can't reach such conclusions, which is very nice applications, you know living and stuff without having that, you know, that understanding, without having that deep analysis. And we can't, without having the fluency in solving diode, diode circuits, we must be fluent in that into, so that we can think about what we can get, you know, what we, what we have, what kind of benefit, what kind of application we can use such a circuit in. in. That's basically one of them. So in the next video now, now we have a very, you know, solid background in clipping circuits, okay? We're gonna see now, you know, a real clipping circuit. Real clipping circuit, I mean, a, a one with, uh, with a general input, which is uh, a variable input. Till this moment, we, we take we, our input VM was just a battery. Just look at it, it's just a battery. Battery usually have a constant voltage, but we change it manually, its value minus five, minus, uh, you know, uh, then, I'm sorry, uh, 0 0.5, then, then three volt, okay? And we did used or uh, from such, from such in manual change that the relation between the input and the output will be something like this in which we have a clipping. Now we can expect that if we change that battery, that most volt is that constant voltage into an easy source, a source that really has very varying input, we're gonna see some change similar to that.
okay? But in the form of AC, as we will see in the next video. So stay tuned, guys. We're gonna, you know, uh, see more uh, practical examples, real examples on clipping, okay, with AC sources. So see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.